Bari is a young man who's been on a remarkable journey. Now you're about to meet a teenager who fled the Taliban in Afghanistan. He's had to endure in a painful past. He fled life in Afghanistan at 13 to escape the Taliban. But now, as um, Michael Smith discovered, his life has turned around. Contributing to the spectacle is a young refugee called Ali. Ali Ahmadi. Ali, Ali Ahmadi. Ali one of the most talented performers that I've ever seen. This next guy you can see here is a futurist Australian. He's that good. Now Ali and his muscles are preparing to take on the world. You want to achieve something in life, you've got to be strong and determined up here. A refugee turned bodybuilder will be in Perth for the Mr. Olympia title. What an amazing journey you've had. And how, how do we then arrive at the Gladiators audition? The warrior from the wasteland. No man! I love it. You know, it's been an amazing experience for me. Three, two, one! I've never seen anything like it. Great shot. Look at Nomad move, he's flying! Nomad has Nikolai within his sight. This is where it's so difficult at the bottom of the pitch. Oh, man, look at the ground made up by Nomad. Nomad has grabbed Nikolai and plucks him off the wall face to face. Nomad, can he reach the tag? He's going for it, that is a Nomad stoked. He did a good job. If Amanda's is best, what else is there? I've loved it, it's been an amazing experience and it's something I could have never imagined. I think that's a great idea. My suggestion is that we start the day with some fruits, with some cereal, especially put it all together, make it a smoothie. So do you, right. do you have smoothies to sort of buff up a bit? Of course, it's a very good way. Yeah? yeah it helps a lot, for sure. Cool, so do you reckon I'll be buff after I drink this? Um, we'll see. <laughs> Give Nomad any challenge and he'll literally rise to the occasion. But for this 21-year-old Adelaide gladiator, it's not always the physical strength he counts on. When I face a challenge, I think back of the things that I've been through, the difficulties. It makes the challenges in front of me look so much smaller. And has now become one of Australia's favourite gladiators. A true inspiration now comes... Well, after not only performing on gladiators, but actually playing a role, I uh, got a real taste for acting and uh, it's become a main goal now. Not war. <laughs> Nature. <laughs> I'm sorry. I began training and acting since 2008 and uh, currently in 2010 I am enrolled at the Actors Palace in Sydney. Dude, maybe you could be robbing a bank. And I'm like this ninja bank manager. And you like, give me the security code for the safe. And I'm like, what? Look. Um, I love performance and I love acting. And I would love to be able to combine the two together uh, for suitable roles in films. <laughs> You're pushing it, man. What? Well, push back. Stop. I mean it. What? All right. What? Huh? Ah. Sorry, man. Sorry. Yeah, I have done a few short films. Um, all sorts of characters ranging from very serious characters to very light-hearted ones. Yeah, I have been told before we're working it out. You think that you're home? After what you just put me through with Amy, is a favor to me. One day when you're about to gouge my eyes out for looking at you the wrong way, I say an eye for an eye, bitch! 
and I jam my fingers right in your eyes, and I say, hey, Blindy, I've been training with your gods. Take this! Kick me. Kick me. What was that? An exhibition? <laughs>